and now, Brother Boris Rost, the three finalists for the 6th grade Science Report Awards. Here are the three finalists for the 6th grade Science Report Awards. The first project is by Katie and Robert Fuller, titled The Journal of a Bread Mold with, uh, color photographs. The second project is by Gloria Monroe and Brett Weaver, entitled Making Electricity with a Water Wheel. And third project is by Lucy Shepard and Daniel Grover, titled Insects Under a Microscope. Hold on, something's up. Hi, Jason. What's the matter? Hey, Toby. Um, listen, something kinda happened. Okay, what kinda happened? Um, really, you know what games were? Cheeps, of course, Jace. We've only spent the last bazillion Saturdays gluing all the bones together. Yeah, well, Roscoe got it. R Roscoe? Your dog? What did he do to our dinosaur? Um, I don't know. I think, well, maybe he must have buried it. <gasps> what? He buried our science project? <laughs> What's so funny? Your dog eat your homework? Nobody gets away with that excuse anymore. Oh, stop! Ignore her. She's gonna giggle for hours now. I'm sorry, Toby. Well, did you take any pictures before you got it? That's all we need for the report. So our pictures would look like the Stone Age, and I left it out overnight. And that's how Roscoe got it. Can't you find out where he buried it? You've got to turn something in by Friday. I only found about five bones in the backyard. It probably doesn't look like much of a dinosaur anymore. No, probably not. We've got today and tomorrow to come up with something else. We'll get an incomplete if we don't turn in anything, which is the same thing as an X. Well, I have an idea. Uh, I might think we can use things we already have. Uh, maybe science product will pop on Friday. Like maybe a report about how to stuff a dog? No, really, look. My big brother won first place at the high school science fair last year. He made this big tank with a water pump at the bottom. And you filled it full of sand. And when he turned on the water, the sand turned into real quicksand. It was a quicksand tank. Oh, jeez! Your brother made quicksand? Right. So, anyway, I was thinking, remember the newspaper story last year about you singing in a quicksand over by the Wood River Creek? Yeah, kinda. Chase, duh. Well, sure I know, but listen. We could use that story and you could write more about what happened. And we could get my brother's quicksand tank and sing something in it. And Jake Richards and make a science project report out of that. Okay. Really? 
sure, we gotta do something. And you're right, we can get it all done by tomorrow night. So, what are we gonna sink in your big brother's tank? Um, I don't know. I was thinking, well, maybe a doll dress as you. Jason, that's kind of weird and spooky, don't you think? Yeah, maybe. I guess, sure. We can maybe use a book or something, but I just thought that since we were going to write about what happened to you, it would look more like we planned doing this all along, you know? It's super weird, but we've got to make it look like we've thought about it for more than a day. We just need a doll. What? No, forget it. Oh, come on, Tear. You still have yours out. Why are all put away? Tobaya, you are not going to see one of my dolls in one of your guys' crazy old quicksand tanks. Oh, jeeps, Terry, don't you have some old... No! Well, I think I can find something right tomorrow. But if I have to do all this work, then you can do all the typing tomorrow night, okay? It's a deal. Thanks a bunch, Toby. I was worried you wouldn't be into this idea. Only because we have to, Jace. It's a better idea than just showing up with a paper and a bag full of bones and getting an F, you know? Uh, hey look, it was for science. <laughs> it's for science. Perfect. Schoolgirl sinking in quicksand rescue just in time. Wow, it looks just like you. With uniform and everything. Kinda does, huh? I think I did a pretty good job. I put a new film last night to get ready. Where's our quicksand? That's the tank right over there on the corner! Kinda light, isn't it? Yeah, kinda. Huh. Doesn't look like quicksand to me, Jace. I'm sorry, Toby. I thought he'd left the sand. I did. Jeeps! Okay, I know this is a crazy idea, but what about if we go take the pictures of real quicksand? Where are we gonna find real quicksand? <gasps> right there, at Wood River Creek. We can go there and take pictures of the doll swinging in real quicksand. Jace, I don't think I could get away with that after school especially, after all the stuff that's happened since. Then I guess we just gotta tie up the stuff we have and turn that in. I need to come home and tell him I'm going to be late, okay? Uh, hey Toby, could you use the phone in the living room? The one in the kitchen doesn't work real well. Okay, sure. Toby, 
Sorry it took off like that, but I had to get these pictures without getting you in trouble. Anyway, it's my fault we're having to do all this work. I'm sorry you feel so bad about Roscoe and all, but I would have come along with you, you know? Why didn't you want me along? I didn't think you wanted to come back to the creek. I thought you were probably too afraid after what happened to you last time. Oh, Jeeps, Chase. I've been in some worse scrapes than that. This stuff doesn't scare me anymore. Honest, am I sinking okay? Yeah, you're sinking. Great. I don't think it's really quicksand, but it sure looks good enough. Anyway, I'm almost finished. Well, don't put me down too much deeper. Did you keep your arms out of the mud? Nope, I was trying to swim out and I got them stuck down deep. <laughs> That's all of the farther? Last picture. Okay, it's wrap. Wanna see? Sure, of course. I'm kind of the star, right? Welcome to Quicksand Island. Jeeps, these look really good, Chase. It's like you're telling a story. This could be a cool report after all. All that's left is making the report. Which way did you get here? I left my bike next to yours. Okay. Hey, wait, what about my doll? really want to keep it after we got it all muddy? Well, sure. Okay, give me a minute. It's stuck in there pretty good. Thanks, Jace. I think it's gonna be kinda hard. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, Jace! Jace! I'm alright, just give me a minute, okay? Wiggle around a little. Try to loosen up the sand and then pull. Hey, wait. Hold it a minute. <gasps> we might be in trouble here, Jace. It's starting to get kind of soft here. What? Jump off! Get back to the reeds. Hurry up! Oh, Jace, I'm stuck. Toby, this is real quicksand! Stop moving around. Try to stay still. Chase, I'm not sinking anymore. What about you? No! I stopped too! Can you move? No, I'm stuck pretty bad. What about you? Yeah, me too. Where's all the water? Huh? What do you mean? There is supposed to be all kinds of water coming up through the sand, right? That's supposed to be what happens in quicksand. So, so where's all the water at? I don't know. It's weak, but it's really hard to. Last tank wasn't like this. I don't think. Maybe this isn't really quicksand. Sure, Jace. And maybe we're not really stuck. We should be yelling for help. There's nobody around here, Jace. I don't think it would do any good to yell. It would make us get tired faster. We could be here all night. Why is the sand so hard? This isn't right. I think I know what's going on, Jace. Something's going on. There sure is nothing going on over on my side. No, listen. We were standing on top of the island, okay? Until we started bouncing around. That's when it turned into quicksand, right? It was okay until we moved around a lot. 
right? And we sank because we kept moving around like they tell you not to do in all the books. And everything got softer while we were moving around. And then when we stopped moving around, and then everything turned really hard, just like the island was before we made it soft. So we stirred up the quicksand under the island and broke through and sank. No, I mean, it wasn't quicksand until we mixed it up by ourselves. It was just sand in the middle of a bunch of water until we wiggled it. Then the water got into the sand and we sank into it. But when we sank down into it, we squeezed the water back out. Like some kind of big sponge, and now it's just sand again. So, this isn't really quicksand? I think it's really quicksand, but I don't think quicksand means a bunch of water going through it all the time. It's just sand that gets a lot of water in it when you wiggle it a lot. And that's what happened. We wiggled a bunch of sand and water and it got all mixed together. And then the sand turned into mud. And then we stopped wiggling and it turned back into sand. Okay, so we discovered wiggle sand? I think this sand is really wiggle sand. You have to wiggle to make it to work, Chase. Listen. We can get the sand to wiggle again. I bet it'll, it'll get soft enough so we can get out. I don't know. You're not supposed to move around in quicksand. Too late for that. You're not supposed to move because you're not supposed to wiggle it. You now gotta wiggle it again to get out. Can you move? I sure can. Hey! getting soft not yet okay it's getting kind of soft here too put your hands on top and push yourself out keep pushing yourself up try rocking to your side i'm getting out of the way ah, Jason, help! Gotcha. come on we gotta wash off the creek It's cold. Yep, it sure is. Hey, Matt. Come here, would you? Holy cow. What happened to you guys? We fell in the creek, okay? Where's mom and dad? At grandma's. Lucky for you. They'd go nuts if they saw you like this. Don't worry. They won't. Um, I need to use your typewriter tonight, okay? We got a big report that has to be done by tomorrow. Sure. No problem. Don't want you to report about. Quicksands! I didn't see a thing, and I don't want to know. <laughs> Thanks, Matt! This is going to take a while. I better call home. Chase, what you got to eat? Oreos and milk. Great! Do you know what to type? Find all the keys if I look. Let me type in. Mom taught me how. I have to look at the keys, but I know which fingers go on which letters. Maybe we'll make it to the top three finals, huh? I don't think anybody else worked this hard for a report. Well, this is just going to be Katie Fuller's report. All she's doing is taking pictures of a piece of bread getting all moldy. 
Where's the science in that? The second project is by Gloria Monroe and Brett Weaver, entitled Making Electricity with a Water Wheel. And the third project is by Lucy Shepard and Daniel Grover, titled Insects Under a Microscope. We all applauded. Laurie and Brett walked up on stage to see if there were wood plots. I guess it was okay that a water wheel beat out wiggle sand, but could it have beaten a soup asparagus? Science will never know. Oh well, as I always say, danger is micro-work. <laughs>